Hello, YouTubers. This is my latest project, a new solar, a portable solar generator. Uh, this box I found it in a gun shop. Uh, I guess it was used to store shells or handguns, I guess. It's very rugged, very strong. Uh, strong against all weather elements. It got rubber seal, kind of o-ring and very strong one so when i bought it i had in mind converting it into a solar generator and i supplied it with a couple of 12 volt batteries each one is 12 amp making up 24 amps or equivalent to 288 watts so very neat and i found nice place for the charge controller as you see here it's charging sun is very generous here in Kuwait battery is fully charged 13.8 volt currently as you see here where I can control the load on and off and here is the menu that's a 10 10 amp controller and that's the look inside here uh, installed the batteries and uh, put them inside with the help of uh, velcro tapes two of them so the battery the batteries actually will settle here are not moving what what whatsoever and here is a separator sponge so the whole box is sturdy and strong nothing is moving system is fused it's fuse number one for the battery between the battery and the controller and this is the second fuse for the load that's an external fuse in case I need to replace it so I can unscrew here and replace the battery or the fuse as a dual USB port one is one amp and the second is 2.1 amp here is a voltage meter. I don't know if you can read it. It's reading 13.8. And this is a DC port. So I can take my DC from here. So this is my lighting. Here we go. On, off, on. And I can add as many lights as I need using this adapter with four sockets. DC use and if I need an AC current I have this very clever AC inverter so this is a DC AC inverter uh, capable of uh, 150 watts so I can plug it here and get AC for whatever use I need and if I need to charge my mobiles or whatever you can use this socket here for a USB. So that's the system. It's very neat. And I also uh, supplied the generator with a very nice SAE connector. This is for the feed line that is going to my panels. I have two panels. One is 80 watt and the other one is 20 watt depends I can use both of them each time so here we go quick connect and quick disconnect that's how I like it. it has a cover against the element and that's how it looks the box supplied with air valve so you can control I guess the humidity inside or if you want to keep the humidity out you can lock this one here so it would be airtight. A couple of extra fuses, spare fuses. So that's how it looks. The battery is actually connected in a parallel way. So the voltage would remain 12 volts and to increase the amperage, I got 24 amps hour. So that's how it looks, how it closes. As you can hear, it's very strong, very rugged.
Yep. So, not heavy. It's about, I believe, about eight or six kilos. I'm not sure, roughly. So that's the system. Currently, I'm in the garden, charging my batteries. That's an old project. I made a YouTube of it. No need to explain about it. But this is an ammo box with a seven with a seven point five uh, amp battery. So this is the eighty watt panel charging the black generator, and this is the twenty watt panel charging the ammo box generator. So I'm here in the garden. It's my beach house shooting some targets enjoying the lovely weather today uh, it's about 30 32 charlie centigrade i mean oh, this is my new or oh, my latest pcp gun 5.5 mainly caliber i really like it much made by vulcan anyway so that's my project here this is my latest one and Hope you like it. I don't know what else I can add, but that's how it looks. And I've added an on off switch so this would kill the system. Turn on the system with 24 amps battery, can have a lot of energy for camping, for lighting, for charging cellular cellulars, and laptops what have you all right that's all about it from kuwait this is nine kilo two uniform uniform 73 and goodbye everyone